just getting started on uh, the doors again. So I got this one done. And oh, I got to adjust that. What I ended up doing was it kind of looks like shit in the light. But, you know, it's going to get the job done. So I used flex paste as seam sealer, basically. Seamed all the edges. What I want to do is just make sure that we're 100% waterproof and that we don't get any rust. And then uh, I did rock guard the outside. So we're going to just get started on this one. And then what we'll do is we will um, start working on this. This We'll put a piece of square tubing and then sheet the bottom half as well. And then we're also going to get the lights added on to the doors. <clears throat> I keep messing around with how I want to do this, but I think I got it figured out. What I'm going to do basically is this again will be complete sheet. And we're going to put the lights somewhere like this. So we'll get uh, going on that now because I want to get this done hopefully within the next week. Okay, I'm just cutting uh, so I don't know if I recorded all this but I got these pieces tacked in and now we're just doing the lower section so again <clears throat> put some sheet here put some sheet here and then I also have lights to go in there but uh, we're just gonna tack this up I still gotta cut that one Finally working on these doors again because I've really just been putting it off like crazy. So we're going to switch it up again for the hundredth time. So here we got the sheet on here on the bottom. And I had this top piece because my plan was to eventually build an upper that fit in here. But scratch that. I'm not doing uppers anymore. Um, the more I thought about it, the more I just didn't like the extra weight as well as this just being in the line of sight. So we are getting rid of this. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to chop this off. And the plan is to bring it up to about here, which is about shoulder height. And then we're going to just take this piece. So I'm going to notch it here, cut it here, and we're just going to bend it. And then that's it. This will stay open. And then we got the solid piece here. And then we're going to add a light. So... Okay, we got uh, one done of the revision that I did. You know what? I don't know. I lost track. The 40th revision to these doors. So we got the sheet on here. I just got to weld it up. And um, so now instead of going all the way up here, this is what we're going to do. Cap it off here. And then it kind of fits perfectly with uh, my shoulder. Okay, so all the, uh, all the pieces are now welded. And... I'm just going to start grinding them down and cleaning them up. Dude, we're all painted up. And uh, ready to put them on. Okay, so here we go. Doors are finally done. And I do I do want to spray it with Raptor bed liner. I do have this bed liner on right now, but I don't really like the texture of it. So, and I just got to put these plastic pieces back on, but uh, yeah, got to wire up these lights. Those are all in, like how that turned out. And uh, 
I'm just happy to be done this bullshit because it was a lot of work a lot more than I expected it to be so I went through all the receipts it was hard to kind of calculate um, oh I still got to paint this up too it was hard to kind of calculate what I spent just because I went through so many grinding discs and cutting discs also but with everything calculated in I roughly I'm around 350 bucks for the half doors which in Canada the half doors for all four uh, after taxes in New Brunswick would have been uh, 2650 so I mean I say $2,300 still so <laughs> kind of kind of a no-brainer and uh, yeah there they are the door series finally over with so that's that thanks for watching